Hello and welcome back to Comprise TV. Today we'll be sharing with you some of our new content that's a part of our new HCI mini series that will be on our YouTube channel and you can find that in the HCI playlist. We'll be showing you what HCI is and what it's all about. Today's video will be demonstrating an end-to-end -end eye flow creation kindly done by one of my colleagues just showing you a step-by-step -step on the eye flow creation. Let's take a look at today's agenda. We'll create an integration package which will contain our integration flows. We will then add and edit our integration flow to create the product in our OData database. We will then configure the adapters, so that's our SOAP senders and our OData receivers. We will then walk you through the one-to-one -one mapping and how that's done, to finally deploying it, and that's when it goes live. So, let's get into it. First, let's create integration package that will contain our integration scenarios. Then we will add process integration to the package. Next step is to edit the integration flow. We will connect sender and start message using SOAP adapter. In SOAP's adapter specific properties, we will add address. This will be the address where messages will be posted. We need to change authentication type of sender from certificate to role based. Next, we will connect end message to receiver. Receiver uses OData adapter. In OData adapter's adapter specific properties, we will create URL using query editor. For that, we will scroll down, modify, add a new system called OData demo. In query editor, we can select multiple entity sets. We can change the operation to create and we will select all the fields. We will put the address in and change the content type from atom to JSON. Next step is to add mapping. For that, we will remove connection and add mapping. In mapping, for target message, we will use the XSD provided by OData. And for source message, the mapping is one to one. Finally, to complete mapping, we'll connect start message to mapping and ma mapping to end message. And we have our integration process ready to deploy. And that's how we receive a confirm message message, confirmation message from the system. Okay, so now we'll do some testing. First, we go to product details. Then we click on plus to add new product. So we'll enter name, description, give some rating, enterprise, give supplier name, enter category and click save we get the notification product created successfully now if we go to message monitoring in HCI we can see that a log is created for certain time 
if we open the message processing log we will see all the steps that were taken during processing of this message so today we saw how to create an iflow in hci from end to end and we also tested it thanks for watching